Hello everyone, what's up? My name is Taylor and welcome to episode 14 of my Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, um, I defeated Archie and Team Aqua in the Seafood Cavern. Groudon and Kyogre both have awoken and they are fighting here in Zootopolis City that I'll show you real quickly. They are currently fighting here in Zootopolis City. And we have to go to Sky Pillar to seek Requaza's help to stop the two legendary Pokemon from fighting. But with that being said, this is my team. We have Phantom and Magania with the Arm and the Coin to get monies. With Razor Leaf, Poison, Powdered, Body Slam, and Dive. We have Baby the Mew holding the Lucky Egg to gain levels. With Fly, Transform, Mega Punch, and Psychic. We have Shinkansen, the Salamence with Dragon Breath, Headbutt, Surf, and Ember. Then we have Clockwork, the Claydol with Mudslap, Psybeam, Ancient Power, and Hyper Beam. We have Sleep the Jolteon with Quick Attack, Tail Whip, Double Kick, and Thunder Shock. And finally, we have Malfurion the Feraligatr with Strength, Water Gun, Bite, and Rock Smash, holding the Experience Share because uh, Malfurion is my lowest level so far um, at the moment. So, so um, I need to get him up to par with some levels. What's wrong, Riku? What's wrong? Okay, so, so from here, in the last episode, I mentioned that getting, I didn't even realize this, but it doesn't even tell you where Sky Pillar is, so you have to find it yourself, and first off, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just battle with many trainers in here to get, looks like I don't even need to go to Sky Pillar, we have Requaza right here. Don't even need to find Requaza, oh my gosh, it's a crit. Don't even need to find Rayquaza, just found him right here with a swimmer. Tell him to go to Stopolis and get, um, and stop the Groudon and Kyogre from battling each other, but, okay, so, uh, I don't think I got a route 126 encounter, but I don't want that school. Okay, so what you have to do is, we have to journey... Okay, I'm gonna put on a max repel because this is. After Stopless, I'm gonna buy a bunch of repels, but do I. Here, here's a max repel. But. Hmm? Where is it? So we have to go. So we have to go all the way back here. Oh, no, not there. I'm hugging the wall because I don't exactly remember where it is, but I know the general location of it. It's here. Okay, so it's somewhere along here on Route 130. Okay, it's here where you see an opening and you have to go behind all of this stuff. care about you. You have to go all the way behind, not there, then here. Wait, where is the, is it Route 131 where the opening is? It's somewhere along this edge where there's an opening in the rocks. There, there, there it is. You go along behind these rocks and here's a cave. Like, if you're surfing along like the middle of the ocean, you don't see this. And without my strategy guide, I never would have known about this. Cause I didn't know that YouTube existed. So I don't even think it was out when this game. I think it was maybe. It might have been out. I don't know. I don't know, it might have been foreign. But anyways. Hey Wallace. In my haste I didn't notice that I left it behind. I've opened the lock door of Sky Pillar. So it was locked. It's an earthquake. There's not a moment to wait. We gotta hurry. Wait, I'm so I'm so confused about the lore of this game now. Hmm, the situation is getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. The grid should be farther up from here. I'm worried about to top this. I got to go back. Everything is in your hand now, though, fellas. Okay. I think I have to get a mock bike. Let me see if I have to get it. But this is Sky Pillar. So, I, so my Sky Pillar encounter is a Crobat. Do I really need to scroll back? No. 
because I have Shin Kansen for flying types and poison type is pretty garbage in this game. So I'm not gonna take it. Okay, so this is Sky Pillar. So it's just all of this. But if you want to catch Rayquaza after you come to Sky Pillar, it's it's more difficult to get past all of these floors, but I think I have to go to the first hole. No, I don't. I don't need a mock bike. Do I? Yeah, I don't. I don't. This is just the top now. Okay. Ooh, I'm night. Razor leaf. Okay. And here. There it is. Rayquaza. The Awakened Rayquaza flew off. And where did Rayquaza go to? Hmm, I wonder. I don't even know what instrument this is. And there we go, the whole problem was solved. And all you had to know was all of that information about where Sky Pillar is and where everything else was. But now that everything is done with, take your surf mod, go to the center, talk to Wallace. Taylor, the leaders of Team I went awkward, I don't think they meant harm. It wouldn't hurt to hear what they have to say. Oh, never mind, I had to talk to one of them. Well, blow off to who knows where the weather in Holland is returning over and say, ha ha, maybe that we, what we were trying to do was something small, even me, like the Pokemon. I'll have to talk to Maxi. So the super ancient Pokemon weren't only ground on Kyogre, after all our fruitless scheming and frantic efforts that one Pokemon simple action put everything right again as if nothing had happened. Foo foo, ha ha ha. Now we talk to all this. Here my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help to tell us, no, all of the Holland was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift for me, please. To the final mandatory HM we needed. That hidden machine contains waterfall. If you have the rain badge, Pokemon that has learned that HM move can force its way up waterfalls. And where does one get the rain badge? You know, don't you? That's right, you have to be the topless gym leader when you're always at the goal. Step through that door. Uh, I'm not gonna step through the door yet. I'm gonna just fight some trainers. And then I'll go there. I know there are just some other spots to get hidden items in here, so I just wanted to check that before I dived up. I think it's like here. I think there's like one at each corner. Oh, I could have got an air on here. Yeah, here it goes. Charcoal. So we so I have another charcoal. Okay, so so let's dive out of here. Uh, fly to Pacific Log, cause west of Pacific Log, there's not only another route where I could get a possible encounter on, but there are a ton of trainers. 
And I'm only gonna go through this twice. I don't exactly remember how to get through every trainer without like looking at a guide. So I'm only gonna do this once or I'm only gonna do this twice. Hound hour I've dive. Need a Reno dive. Body slam. Caterpie body slam. Mr. Mime body slam. Magneton dive. I think if I stay at the bottom, I can fight the most trainers. Okay, so then I didn't want to, didn't want her to see me. I dive. Oh my gosh, she didn't turn around. Halo body slam. Tropius body slam. Body slam. Okay, before I do anything, save game. A leaf stone. Okay, I totally miss all of that. So this is the person. Celio. Trying to learn slash. Yes. Kill fancy up. Okay, I missed that. New route. I missed that. I missed that. Am I already at the end? I'm already at the end, aren't I? Okay, and this is the end, and it leads all the way back to sleep port. I'm pretty sure I could have caught that slow poke now that I think about it. Yeah, that's wrong with three more. Gosh darn, I could have caught that slowpoke. I kind of wanted to use slowpoke. But I'm just going to go through this one more time. And then after this, I'm going to fight the gym. Because I can't exactly remember how to get through all the gym leaders without looking at a guide. I mean, not gym leaders. Uh, all the trainers here without looking at a guide. Okay, so... Here's a girl swimmer. Pidgeot. Don't really want a Pidgeot. Ivysaur? Oh, there's an item that I didn't- that I missed out on. Here's a trainer. Uh... 
uh, switch back into this. So I'm looking over at Riku just to see if he's gonna do anything. Is there an insect? Oh, I didn't even see what it was. Pincer. Thank goodness X scissors not third gen. Oops here. Kingra. I'm at the end again, aren't I? Yeah, I'm at the end. Okay. So, I'm not gonna waste anyone's time going through that like four or five times trying to get through everything. I'm just gonna go here and I'm just gonna take this gym up, gym straight up right now. Cause I mean, no Pokemon should really give me any trouble besides like if the ace is like a Rayquaza. And even then, I'm pretty sure I can handle it. Like, sure, like two of my Pokemon will probably die, but like, I think I can handle it. So, this is the Citopla City Gym. So you have to step on these ice pads and you have to step on them in an order to make them all cracked but also leading you to the ladder. So that's how you do the first one. This is how you do the second one. And then this is how you do the third one. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm careful. And there is the gym leader, Juan. But if you just to show you, if you step on one of these cracked ice, mm -hmm. you fought on there. And I'm just gonna battle the gym trainer just to gain levels. Right, Chew. I'm sure that I probably could have gotten double battle somehow. That's yeah, getting annoying. Cloister. What was that? Electro? An orange berry? I don't want to get effects boy that's why I'm switching out. Mischievous. Altaria. Okay, that's a yikes. Psychic. That's it. I 
Oh, I should have healed Fancy up. Wait. Yeah, that's not gonna kill. Okay, so Reggie's and I guess a really strong legendary would kill me. So basically any strong legendary would is the only way that I get screwed over. Rito. Uh So many grass poison types. Sorry about any noise in the background, that's Riku scratching. Oh, his cat must be in the box, that's what he's playing with. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely- yep, there it is, yep. Let's just do this. I mean, again, nothing's really stopping me. Like, my Pokemon aren't that under level. Oh no, I'm down. There it is. Let me ask you, do you did you know I ah I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as a gym leader, in my place I trusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. Ah, uh, but enough chatter. Let let us begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear witness to our artistry. A grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. Okay, so that's what confused myself before. So, um, I'm not going to spoil it, but um, in Ruby and Sapphire, originally Wallace is this gym leader, and in Emerald, it changes to Juan here. And it always confused me why that was the case, and especially in the last episode, where Wallace mentions that Juan is his mentor. Because that means that Juan is better than Wallace. So it just confused me in that regard, I guess. I don't know. Like But then after reading that text it kinda of makes sense. Get 
there's one of his hyper potions. Ah, uh, excuse me. Growth, interesting. So I'm I'm looking at Regal playing with his cap. It's just like it's just a cold cap. I don't know. He just likes it a lot. It's like it. Last Pokemon is a Squirtle. Forty six. Oh, it is forty six. Okay. Since they gave Squirtle War Token Blast to protect, like, fighting against it in Let's Plays is just annoying. There we go, okay. Haha, <laughs> excellent, very well. I didn't read that. From you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. Perhaps I should make you a loan of my outfits. Haha, <laughs> I merely jest. Rather than my clothes, I shall award you with this the rain badge. Having the rain badge will assure you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to your every command. The rain badge will also allow the use of the HMO waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we share, take this. So this is... Today, should I handed you these encore. I believe that that is rain dance? I'm not exactly sure. But I know it's not Ice Beam because you get to have, like, the, the game corner. But let me heal up here. And then let me head to the second to last destination of my Pokemon Emerald journey. Okay. Die. Oh wait, I need I should have seen I should have checked if any of my Pokemon could learn waterfall before I came here. Waterfall. Uh, clockwork. I guess I'll give it to Clockwork. Because Baby already has an HM. Uh, I'll replace it for Mudslap. Because even though Mudslap is stabbed, it's not doing any damage. 
Okay, so with that, we have everything but Flash. I'm just curious. Oh yeah, Clockwork can't learn Flash of anything, so that's good. Cause this next, this second to last section of the game, I pretty much need Flash. I was have to look at a guide, and I don't want to do that. I want to challenge myself. So here's a bunch of trainers. So the last people to face is the Elite Four. I'm gonna raise all my Pokemon to 50 because I believe the champion is 60. If if memory serves if memory serves me, if I, I don't even know if I'm using that phrase correctly, but if memory serves the champion of this elite for 60 so to build up to it i'm gonna level everyone up to 50 and again it's kind of like my team is so good at the moment that unless it's a like a legendary pokemon i shouldn't be beaten by anything because i have multiple good typings i have multiple good moves on my pokemon so i shouldn't have any problem with any pokemon i face like this honestly kind of feels like the platinum the platinum playthrough where like I have a really good team and like I'm not scared of anything like like even a legendary like I'm sure that like two of my Pokemon will survive at least so I'll win the game like I'm not gonna white out but the last place you have to go is hold on you have to go all the way to the right from this um, from the um, from the furthest down you can go, you just go all the way to the right to get to the second to last section. Oh my gosh, there's so many trainers along here. Porygon 2 and Kindra. Is it? Yes, this is. Welcome to Evergrande City, and this is actually my encounter for Evergrande City. I'm just gonna kill this. I don't need Jigglypuff. This is the Evergrande City, the final city of this game. Housing Victory Road, Housing Elite Four. With the entrance to it being a giant waterfall. And all of the wonderful flowers that surround it. Is this Scott? I think this is Scott. Yeah, this is Scott. Okay, bye Scott. Okay, so... I'm going to teach Flash to clockwork. Since it's the only one who can learn Flash. I'm gonna replace it for Hyper Beam. Just because I don't want to wait a turn to attack anyways. Okay, and with that... My journey is almost complete. And I will end the episode off here. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, goodbye.